Hello and welcome. I'm going to teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. It's just so easy. I'm going to take you through it step by step. And don't forget to tell us how it helps in the comments. Let's do this together. So we begin with solution. Let's repeat what we have. We have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x is equal to 90. Now remember from definition that when you have a to the power of m, this m shows you how many times this a is multiplied. So this is the same as this. So when you have 5 to the power of x repeated two times, it is the same as 5 to the power of x raised to power 2. This 2 shows how many times this is multiplied. And this is equal to 90. So what do you do? Remember also that for every a to the power of n raised to power n, it is a to the power of n multiplied by n, which is a to the power of n raised to power m. So applying it here, we are going to have 5 to the power of 2 will be raised to power x. This multiplied is the same as this, will be in this. And this is equal to 90. So what do you do? Remember, 5 raised to the power 2 is 5 multiplied 2 times. And to keep solving, we are going to have. So this gives us, this is the same as 25 raised to the power x is equal to 90. So at this point, you take the log of both sides so as to find x. So if you do that, remember, for every log of a to the power of x, the power multiplies. So it gives us x log a. This is going to be a guide. So apply it on the left side. This power multiplies. So we have x log 25 is equal to log of 90. Now what do you do to get x? Remove this. You divide by log of 25. And you also do so here. So if you do that, this goes off. We are now having x is equal to. Now, this is giving us log of 90 divided by log of 25. We are not leaving this like this. We need to simplify. And to simplify, we have. And also for you to have watch through this point, it shows what to do in trust. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. Hit that subscription button if you are still new. And let's also know your own method about this in the comment. Let's still do this together to have. From here, x is equal to, now we know too well that 90 is the same as 2 multiplied by 45. 45 is the same as 3 multiplied by 15. 15 is 3 multiplied by 5. Now it means that for 90, it is given as this. So we're going to have log of, instead of writing 90, you observe we have 2 multiplied, 3 appeared 2 times, so we have 3 squared multiplied by 5. This is giving us 90. Then we have divided by, so this is divided by 25 is 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to the power of 2. So we're going to have, instead of writing this, we now have log of 5 squared. So keep simplifying. Remember, for every log of A multiplied by B, it is equal to, so this is equal to log of A plus log of B. Now applying it on this, we have x is equal to log of this multiplication, turn them to addition. So we have log of 2 plus log of 3 squared plus log of 5 is divided by log of 5 squared. Now this is also the same as x equal to, this can divide each of this log. So we have log of 2 divided by log of 5 squared plus log of 3 squared divided by log of 5 squared plus log of 5 divided by log of 5 squared. So keep solving. X is giving us log of 2 divided by, remember the power multiplies. So we have 2 log 5 plus, for this we have 2 
log 3, this power multiplies, divided by this will multiply, we have 2 log 5 plus, for this we now have log of 5 divided, the power multiplies, we have 2 log 5. Now you observe that these two are the same, so we can take them off. Remember, the coefficient of this is 1. So this takes this off. Not this one are not the same. So we are going to have x is equal to log of 2 divided by 2 log 5 plus 2. These two are the same, so we can take them off. So we are left with log of 3 divided by log of 5 plus here we are going to have half. Now, simplifying this more, we remember that. For every log of A divided by log of B is always log of A base B. Change of base rule. So if you apply it here, we are going to have X is equal to, remember that the coefficient here is 1. So it's going to be half, then log of 2 divided by log of 5. Obeying this will give us log of 2 base 5 plus for this is going to be log of 3 base 5 then plus half so this is the simplified value of x we are going to plug this value of x on the left side to see if it gives us back 90 and that is the most interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this verification together to have. To verify, since these two are the same, we're going to work with one first. Then when we are done, we return it. So we're going to have for 5 to the power of x, we are going to have 5 raised to power. This is our x. We have half log 2 base 5 plus this will give us plus log of 3 base 5 plus half. This is the value of x. So what you do here is just quickly remember for every a to the power of m multiplied by this, it is always a to the power of m plus n. You add the powers provided the two are multiplied. So you observe that this is of this form. So we're going to put it in this form. And to do that, we have 5 to the power of half log 2 base 5. Then this will turn to multiplication. 5 to the power of log of 3 base 5 multiplied. This turns to multiplication. 5 to the power of half. So what do we do next? Remember we said earlier, the coefficient is the power. The power is also the coefficient. So we are going to take this back. So if you do that, we have 5 to the power of log of 2 to the power of half base 5. Interesting. Multiplied by 5 to the power of log of 3 base 5. Multiplied by 5 to the power of half. Now at this point, quickly remember, for every a to the power of log of b base a, these two bases are the same. It gives you back this b. We are going to use this rule to simplify. And to do that, we have, looking at this, you see that these two bases are the same, just like what we have here. So we're going to have this as 2 to the power of half is multiplying. These two bases are also the same. So we're going to have 3, then multiplied by 5 to the power of half. Now remember that this is for the this is for 5 to the power of x. All these are for this value from what you stated there. So since we've gotten this, let's replace the two. So replacing the two, we are going to have for this, this is what we have. So we have 2 to the power of half multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of half. That is for 1. Then multiply by, repeat it, 2 to the power of half multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of half. So from here, we now have, let's gather the same terms together. 
So we have 2 to the power of half multiplied 2 to the power of half. This 2. Then let's gather the 3. So we have 3 multiplied by 3. Then gather this. We have 5 to the power of half multiplied 5 to the power of half. So keep solving. We now have. Remember that when the bases are the same and are multiplying, you just add the powers. So we're going to add this. Multiplied by 3 times 3 gives us 9. Multiply. Do same here. You have 5 to the power of half plus half. Now we keep simplifying. We have 2. If denominators are the same, add the power. 1 add 1 gives us 2 divided by 2. Multiplied by 9. Multiplied by 5. Do same here. We have 2 on 2. So if you simplify, you have 2. 2 divided by itself is 1. And 2 raised to power 1 is 2. Multiplied by 9. Multiplied by 5. This is also 5. So if you multiply this, this will give us 18. And 18 times 5 gives us back uh, 90. And that is what we also have at the right side. So this means that the value of x we got as half log 2 base 5 plus log of 3 base 5 plus half is absolutely correct. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends. And if you're still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot of packages for you every day. Thank you for always engaging. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.